Hi and welcome to Schroeser's classroom. Today we are going to be dealing with some very important questions on chemical science. You can WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any doubts, queries or for full videos on our courses. A process is carried out at a constant volume and at constant entropy. It will be spontaneous if either of the following options is true. Let's see what the correct answer is. We, I'll do the calculations in a separate page so that you can see and be very clear with it. We know that entropy charge del S is equal is always greater than Q by T from the second law of thermodynamics. Therefore, T delta S is greater than Q. Let this be number 1. Now, Q equals to del U plus P del V from first law of thermodynamics. Now, from equation 1 and 2, we can see that T delta S is greater than delta U plus P delta V or delta u plus p external delta v minus t delta s less than 0. When volume and entropy are constant, that is del v equals to 0 and del s equals to 0, then del u v and s is less than 0. Thus, at constant volume and entropy equilibrium is achieved when energy is minimized let's see which of our options was correct from the question we see option number c is the correct answer let's see another very different question now in the next question we see that the half life of a zero order reaction a tends to p is given by k equals to rate constant. We have to calculate and find out which of our options are correct. Now, for zero order reaction, we know that minus d a by d t is equals to k. Therefore, minus d a equals to k d t. On integrating, we get minus integration of dA equals to k dt or minus dA equals to k dt. Or minus A equals to kT plus C. When T equals to 0 and A not equals to A, then C equals to minus A not minus a equals to kt minus a naught or minus a plus a naught equals to kt. Therefore, simplifying it further, we have a naught minus a equals to kt when t equals to p half a is equals to a naught divided by 2. Now putting this in the original equation we have a naught minus that is this equation 
a naught minus a naught by 2 equals to k t half next k t half equals to a naught divided by 2 and thus t half equals to a naught by 2 k and thus this corresponds with option number a thus a is the correct option moving on to a very different question that i am sure you will have fun doing so the q band in the vibrational spectrum of acetylene is observed in the following options now the q band in the vibrational spectrum of acetylene is observed mainly in the cc stretching mode that is option number c is the correct answer let's see another question based on organic chemistry now in the next question we have a reaction given below as an example we have to write what kind of hydrogen shift does this equation have let's see what the equation will look like when there is an hydrogen shift this is what the reaction looks like this is a classic example of 1 5 sigma tropic hydrogen shift thus this corresponds with option number c from our question let's see another question on orbital states The concerted photochemical reaction between two olefins leading to a cyclobutane ring is among the four options. Let us see how to do this. The photochemical 2 plus 2 cycloaddition of ethylene, which involves overlap of the homo pi star of an excited mo molecule with an lumo which is also pi star of a ground state molecule is superficial with respect to both the component that is pi square s plus pi square s next i will show you that how the diagram looks like now this is how the diagram will look like notice the above diagram is of a homo of a excited state whereas the lowest diagram is of the lomo of the ground state this is equals to hv equals to a cyclobutane and this whole process is a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition of ethylene let us see another numerical question. Now, moving on to the next question. If y square equals to 4x and 0.1 percent error is incurred for x, the percentage error involved in y will be among the following options. Let us see how to do this. We are given y square equals to 4x. Therefore, y equals to 2 root over x. Therefore, let us calculate the percentage error. Therefore, the percentage error equals to del y by y into 100 equals half del x by x. Now, putting in the values, we have half into 0 0.1 percent, which is equals to 0. 0.05 percent thus option number d is the correct answer with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click on the notification button you can whatsapp or call us at the given number for any doubts of our full videos on our courses